Okie dokie, welcome back to the channel, folks. You're watching Duty's Daggers. We have an unboxing today. First of all, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and uh, do that. You'll be glad you did, I promise. And uh, follow me on Instagram, Duty's underscore Daggers. Uh, so, unboxing time. We've had quite a few unboxings recently. Uh, you know, it's just uh, it's a prosperous time <laughs> for, for me and Knives. I'm very grateful. Um, you know, uh, I bought a lot of these. Some were, uh, one was given me as a to me as a gift, and I'm just lucky. I'm a lucky guy to be able to afford some of this stuff. Uh, you know, these are nicer knives than I've ever been able to afford. And you know, after this, I'm going to be tapped out for a while, but that's okay because I am really happy to have a couple premium knives in the collection. You saw me unbox the Sharp by Design Apex a couple days ago. That was the most expensive knife I have ever owned. And this one here in this box is actually right around the, the same price point as the Apex. Uh, different maker, but uh, right around the same tier. So I am extremely excited. This is, uh, yeah, this, you know, I now have, you know, in, in the past week, I now have two knives that are, are nicer and more expensive than, than any knives I've ever owned. Very exciting stuff. So, uh, you know, I've heard of this maker and known of this maker for quite a while. Um, and I've always wanted one, but uh, my buddy Dean was the one that really kind of sold me on them. He, uh, he has a pretty good collection from this maker and uh or designer rather and um one of them popped up on the secondary market one that was uh, pretty actually pretty hard to find they're sold out everywhere at the moment and uh, when they drop they usually go very quickly and so i saw this one and uh, dean and i had just been talking about it and uh i had just finished a job made a little bit a little bit of extra money and i decided to go for it so I bought it. So, um, yeah, let's freaking look at it. I'm so stoked. Here we go. Got some bubblies. I'll just cut right through this with my old hawk bill. Oh, yeah. You probably recognize that, don't you? That is a Chavez. Chavez. Chavez? Chavez? I'm with Chavez. Um, yeah, never owned a Chavez before, ever. So I am really, really excited. Um, on the side, we got the Ultramar. I believe that's the name of his uh, production line of knives. He also makes customs, which are much, much more expensive. Um, but this more affordable series are made by Riot. Ooh, we got a nice magnet there. <laughs> oh, baby. Check this out. Oh my god. This thing is even beefier than I was expecting. Um, what else? Oh yeah, it's the extra clip. Okay. So you'll see in a second. Um, the, the skull clip here is kind of Chavez's signature clip. And um, some people don't like it. So I guess he decided to start including plain clips in with his knives. Um, but I'm not going to change it. Um, I, I actually like the skull. I think, you know, it's part of the, uh, the aesthetic of the knife. If the maker chose to put it on there and, you know, he thinks that it, it goes with the design, then, then that's what I'm going with. Man, this thing is beefy. All titanium. We have thumb stud only. Man, all right, let's flip this thing. Ready? Oops, on the lock bar there, Kevin. Oh boy, look! <laughs> oh man, that looks so mean, dude. Let me get a little, little bit of schmutz out of here. Look how mean that looks! Holy crap! <laughs> Jeez. That is one wicked looking knife, man. Super comfortable, okay. Choke up, very comfortable. 
This is a deep, deep uh, finger choil. Deep. You know, usually they're not, this one's almost like a, a half a half circle deal. Um, I was worried it wasn't going to be big enough, but actually it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Wow. Really, really nice. Uh, I'm usually not a, a clip point guy. I would consider this probably a clip point blade. But this one, I don't know. Or maybe it's a drop point. I don't know. There's no swedge, so maybe it is a drop point. Regardless, um, we've got a little bit of belly, but the tip's still pretty low. So, you know, not too much difficulty getting to the tip. There's no milling on the inside whatsoever. And I kind of like that because it kind of goes with the whole beefy aesthetic. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. Absolute fall shit. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a beautiful thing. Fat old thumb studs. Thick blade stock. This thing is just a mini little tank. But it's actually a really good size for EDC. I mean, easily full grip on it with a little extra. Um, you know, it's heavy. But it's a really good EDC size. I think this is one of the smaller of his designs. Um, in fact, I know I know it is. Um, most of his other knives, I believe, are larger. Um, this one stood out to me when I was looking through all of his designs, just because um, it, had a, it had a nice low tip and it seemed like a really good size for carrying. So we have a, a belt satin or a belt sanded, whatever you want to call it, finish on the bevel. Then we have a nice satin on the flat there. We have the Chavez logo, the little uh, skull key there. Really like that. Um, actually really thin at the edge. Yeah, not bad at all. How is the edge? Oof, very, very sharp. M390 for the blade steel. We have a steel lock bar insert and built-in over travel stop into into the insert. So that's great. Man. That action is just crazy. There is a little bit of uh, you know, you kinda have to make sure you get past that that detent, but once you do, whew. Trying to figure out the best uh, thumb placement on the lock bar so that it, it falls, but so that this doesn't pierce my thumb. Probably kind of have to, you know, use this finger to scoot it past a little bit and then shut it. It might take a little getting used to, but man. Gosh. This thing is real quality. Looks like we got bearings. Is there two stop pins? You see there's see there's two posts in there. And it looks like this top one, you know, goes into that slot right under the uh, right right under here. But there's also this other one down here that it looks like it's hitting um, inside the, the choil there. That's really interesting. I wonder, I wonder why that is, if it really is touching or if it's, oh yeah, it's touching. Huh, interesting. Or is one, is one of them, no. Interesting, yeah, double stop pins, I guess. Um, if I'm wrong about that, let me know, but it, it seems like there's double stop pins. Um, geez, I really like this thing. I really like this thing. This is really comfortable up here. Much more comfortable than I was kind of expecting. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of contouring going on in the scales. I mean, we have this, this chamfer running all the way around. 
Um, and it actually, it actually feels really good back here and up here. Kind of surprising. I love it. I absolutely love it. Whew. Um, let's take some quick measurements. Um, Blade length, um, three and three eighths, and then cutting edge about just about exactly three. So there's a three eighths, uh, you know, inch difference between, you know, space here that uh, the the finger choil is using. Um, overall, seven and seven eighths, almost eight inches, and then um, closed we've got four and a half. Um, Let's throw up some other knives here real quick just so you guys can uh, get a sense of how big it is. There's the PM2. Um, yeah, a little smaller than the PM2. Uh, let's see. It's a VV Conspirator. A little smaller than that. Not much, though. Oh, yeah, it is. Very similar handle shape on these two. Very similar actually. If you like the handle on the Conspirator then you will like the handle on this uh, Scapegoat. Did I even say what the name of the knife was? I don't know if I did. This is called the Scapegoat. <laughs> Got too distracted in uh, enjoying it. Um, 8020.5. A little bit longer than that. Um, most of my other comparison knives I actually sent off to a buddy to to check out. Um, so we'll just we'll leave it at that. I think that'll give you guys a good idea of how big it is. Man, that that click is so nice. I love a nice click. Oh yeah. This thing is a freaking beast, man. Holy crap. Oh, you know what? We sh we should put it against the uh, the Tucson TS three hundred. Another titanium frame lock. Let's see, yeah, the TS three hundred is a little bit longer. Yeah, just a little bit. Man, titanium frame locks. That's where it's at. Let's get out all my titanium frame locks. How about that? We'll have to get out the old Apex. And what else? I guess this would count. Concept Mini Accipiter. What else? Kaiser Robe. Titanium frame lock. We're going to run out of room here. There we go. And is that it? Let's see. I think that's it. We have the PM2, more titanium, but that's a uh, compression lock, obviously. Man, <clears throat> I'm really happy with how my, my collection is progressing. I'm really, to hap really super happy to have a couple, you know, high-end knives in the collection. Um, you know, for the longest time, this uh, this PM2 was the most expensive knife in my collection. Still love it, obviously. I carry this thing um, quite often at work. It's my primary work knife. Um, but I'm just I, I don't know. I'm I'm just stoked. <laughs> I'm so happy to have some real nice knives in the collection. I've always wanted that. You know, uh, part of the whole reason I started a YouTube channel was just hoping that I would have opportunities to check out knives that I wouldn't otherwise be able to afford or look at. And that was the main, the main, uh, in, you know, uh, motivation to starting a channel and it still is. Um, it's all working out. I'm so happy. Thanks to you guys for, for watching and commenting and, and, uh, being a part of the community, hanging out in the lives. Um, it's so, it's just so fun. <laughs> I love hanging out in the lives, talking to you guys, looking at knives. It's just, uh, it's the best. It really is. So, um, that's the unboxing of the Chavez Scapegoat. 
I'll have a review on it um, once I carry it and uh, kind of get my thoughts together on it. I do have a Patreon. It's linked down below. Um, if you feel like supporting me there, go for it. If not, I just, uh, you know, I all I can really ask is that you watch my videos. And um, and if that's all you're doing, then that's all I need. And, and um, I really, really appreciate it. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.